So a year ago, I made a video on the voice of God or voice with scout technology that could project sound and voices into people's heads. Although that was only theoretical, with still no widespread applications, today I'm going to introduce you guys to a similar technology, but with already existing products that are selling like $20,000 each. Although I don't have the money to buy it and show you guys, I would like to let you know what it is like to be a superhero that can whisper in people's ears. It's good, isn't it? I'm as interested in this Sebastian Shaw as you are, and if you still want my help, meet me on the third floor of the parking garage. So this technology is something called Audio Spotlight. It is basically a speaker, but unlike a light bulb that goes in all direction, it is more like a laser beam that focuses on a chosen direction or on targeted individuals. So there are three types of sound in our sound spectrum. The one that we can hear belongs to acoustic, which brings us from 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz. Beneath that is called infrasound, which we cannot hear because the frequency is too low. And above that is called ultrasound, which we also cannot hear because the frequency is too high. Now the audio spotlight is using the ultrasound right here in the high frequency sound spectrum. Now, what is the difference between high frequency and low frequency sound wave? Well, low frequency sound wave tends to travel slower and therefore spread out over a larger area. And for high frequency, it tends to travel faster and therefore go straight in one direction. But as I've already mentioned before, ultrasound is something that we cannot hear. So where does that whisper sound come from? Well, it's time to introduce something called ultrasound modulation. To begin with, we combine the audio signal we want to send with the ultrasound to produce modulated ultrasound that we cannot hear. Now as we send this modulated ultrasound beam through the air, the physical properties of the air will distort the beam to produce a wide range of frequencies that we can hear, including our original signal. Well, in the past, it is very difficult for us to retrieve our original sound signal because of high distortion. But right now, thanks to Dr. Joseph Pompey from the MIT, who have already figured out the math, we can now send a clear message through audio spotlight and create whispers in people's ears, which almost sounds like it is coming directly from their heads. From the point of view of you and me, this technology is basically nothing but fun. We may have our own personal speakers or even mess around with others pretending we're a telepath, just like the Ace Men. But from the point of view of the military, it is actually a great opportunity to develop sonic weapons. You know, as we turn up the intensity of the ultrasound, we can actually create loud, disturbing noise that deters or even disable individuals, just like the microwave weapon Medusa were mentioned in the previous video. And such a weapon is called a long-range acoustic device, and according to WikiLeaks, it is actually now used in fighting pirates and crowd control. Anyways, that's all for today. Make sure you subscribe to this channel because I'm probably making more videos about superheroes and superpowers in the future. And if you still haven't checked out my previous video on the microwave weapon Medusa, make sure you do it right now. Bye.